Hello you most beautiful and most amazing top tenors, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling fantastic. I'm Rebecca Felgate and this is Most Amazing Top 10. So makeup, I love it, but sometimes I hate it because it can be so frustrating to get right and when it goes wrong, you can end up looking like this. So today we have the top 10 things girls hate about makeup. As if I only have to list 10 things, I can think of many. So starting off at number 10, we have mascara face. Now I can't seem to help myself when it comes to mascara face, I just can't shake it. Now most girls have a mascara face and mine is very much akin to a trout gulping for air. Let me try and show you. Okay, so I'm popping on my mascara, but I just can't do it unless I'm like. And that's just not a sexy face for anyone. Trout, gulping, for air. So mascara faces can be embarrassing when in public and even at home. I for one have a boyfriend who loves to try and take a picture of my mouth when I'm putting mascara on. It is the absolute worst. Stop it, Will. In at number nine, keeping it mascara related, we have when mascara runs. So remember that picture of Taylor? Well here it is again. There we go. That is some serious mascara runnage. So anything from rain to a good old cry can upset even the most perfectly applied mascara. Don't even think about having a middle of the day body refresh in the shower if you're wearing mascara and don't plan a trip to the beach or pool while you're wearing it either as chances are you'll end up with it around your eyes making it look a little bit like you've gone a few rounds with Mike Tyson. Boom cha. Watery eyes can happen, especially in the spring with allergies etc, and this can start a serious mascara run. I would say use waterproof mascara, but any self respecting girl knows that it is the devil and can never ever ever be removed. Essentially, we're stuck. In at number 8, we have really dry lipstick. So beware of long wear lipstick, in my opinion, it always goes wrong. So nothing is more of a pain than having to keep reapplying lipstick to get a certain look. However, I find that most long wear lipsticks are a bit of a shame. Especially when they're mattifying. I find that after a few hours of long wear lipstick, the colour will start to crack on the lips, which is just not sexy. Also, not sexy is the line it can leave in your lips in the middle as it clumps on the outside. It is so gross. Even if you try and reapply the lipstick, things just get even worse. You'll only be adding to the cakiness and cracking. And who wants to kiss a crack? Best to take it all off and start again. My best advice though is to use a lip stain such as Benetint from Benefit if you want a long lasting colour. In at number 7, we have eyeliner mismatch. So I don't know if you can tell, but I absolutely love a good eyeliner wing. Wing! But it can be so hard to get them perfectly even. So you want the right angle on the swoop and it is very difficult to duplicate. So guys, this is the scenario. Usually one eye goes perfectly like an incredible wing, but the second you're like, uh oh. You don't look the same. So you just keep on trying to even them up until you end up looking like you're auditioning to play Cleopatra, but really, you're just going to the grocery store. In the end, I just get so frustrated and I start all over again, but that means also doing under eye concealer and eyeshadow all over again too. Essentially, ah! Just no. Keeping it similar, at number six, we have false eyelash application. Okay, so I really don't do this very often because of what a pain in the ass it actually is. It really isn't worth it unless you're going to a super important event or something. Honestly, I can't understand how girls that wear them every day do it as false lash application is a military operation. So I hate it when you try and put them on. Obviously, one goes on just fine, but the other gets like stuck halfway up your face. I also hate it when you're wearing them and all of a sudden, halfway through a night out, one just starts coming off and you're like, ah, I didn't bring any glue with me, just stay on my face. It's just messy. Instead I suggest individual lashes. Now you can apply three or so of them at the end of each lash line for a more subtle false lash effect without all of the drama. In at number five, we have cakey foundation. So there is nothing worse than putting on a full face of makeup, foundation and all, for you to put some powder on the top and for everything to go all congealed and cakey, especially on a hot day when you try and reapply. Now this might not be apparent straight away, but sometimes foundation can get progressively cakey throughout the day, clumping in patches around the nose, chin and forehead. This as I said is especially likely to happen on a hot day. In fact, on a hot day I tend to just wear some under eye concealer and a light layer of foundation with no powder to try and stop this demon from happening to my face. Of all of the foundations I've tried, I find that liquid based foundations from MAC are the best. I for one use Mineralize with an SPF of 15. You gotta keep sun protected. In at number 4, we have streaky fake tan lines. So I am no queen when it comes to applying fake tan, so generally I try and avoid 
avoid it. Most girls I know struggle with fake tan because an even spread is key. So when you apply creams it can be very difficult to get an even tone with many finding streaks when their tan dries. Or if you have avoided the streaky arms and legs you probably haven't avoided fake tan hands. Now this is basically where you forget to wash your hands and afterwards you end up with weird like dark webbed fingers. It's strange. Boo you fake tan. In our number 3 we have lip gloss hair. So those of you who like makeup will know that you really shouldn't wear your hair down if you're wearing lip gloss, especially if it's windy or you're out dancing, unless you really really want hairy lips. Now guys, let me demonstrate. So you're just going about your life, you want to pop your lip gloss on and you're like, ooh, mm hmm, look how sassy I am with my wet look lips. But then you want to go for a dance and you're like, oh yeah, oh. But then it ends up stuck to your face and you're like, ah, hairy lips, lip gloss hair. I know the windswept thing is kind of cool but this is too much. Too much. Yep, yeah, I am gonna go through the rest of this video with really glossy lips because that is how committed I am. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, it's a disaster. Constant disaster. Also, my hair's now a little bit greasy, which is unideal. In at number two, probably the bane of my actual life, we have smashed powder slash blusher slash eyeshadow. Is there any bigger upset than smashing your powdered goods? No. No, there is not. So you're going about your life once again, la la la, walking down the street when, uh oh, you accidentally drop your precious powder or blusher or eyeshadow. There are those split seconds of blind panic, followed by a moment of calm where you convince yourself that it will be okay, but guys, it won't. As you pick up your beloved makeup item from the floor, you realize it is smashed to smithereens. Now, if you're a denier like me, you'll even try and pick up the pieces and be like, Guys, it's, it's fine, I can just press it together and I can still use it and it'll be fine, I'll just keep it at home and there won't be any mess. But you're fighting a losing battle, you will soon realise that the broken powder will get everywhere, like all over everything, like your bag, your bed sheets and your life. Just accept it now, throw it away. Okay guys, so we have reached that all important moment in our top 10 things girls hate about makeup. I'm going to reveal what maybe we all think is the worst thing. Get ready as our number one will be around forever and ever and ever and ever. That's right, in at number one we have unexpected glitter. Ah! So I went to Way Home Festival recently and my friend has the most accurate way of describing glitter. She said, it's like the STI of a festival. It's contagious, it's unexpected and it's hard to get rid of. And I feel that. I like sparkles, for sure, but when I'm done with them, I want to be done with them. They're like never done though. They're the ex-boyfriend that just keeps on clinging on and will pop up when you least expect it. Then what's even worse is that sometimes you'll forget that you hate waking up with glitter in like your eyeballs, hair, ears, belly button. Button, and some months later, on that crazy night out that just needs a bit of sparkle, you'll end up applying glitter again. Which is a big mistake. A perpetual mistake that you'll keep on making for the rest of your life because we just don't learn. Blah. So that was the top 10 things that girls hate about makeup. Any suggestions for more makeup videos? Are you guys enjoying the makeup content here on Most Amazing Top 10? Should we do more? Should we do a makeup video with Landon and Danny? I vote absolutely yes. I'm Rebecca Felgate, this has been Most Amazing Top 10. You guys can catch up with me on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram and my own YouTube channel Rebecca Felgate Official. But for now, if you like this video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up, share it with a friend and of course be subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10. And I will see you beautiful people next time, hopefully with no glitter because stop.